there's a new model from ChatGPT called ChatGPT 4.5, and it says that it's good for writing and exploring ideas. So I'm very excited to use this to write some content and see the output quality that we can expect from this new model. So I've selected 4.5. It should be available in your ChatGPT interface. If not, just give it a couple of days and you will get it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my SEO prompts, and these are my prompts that I've been using for a very long time. And you can find these prompts in the description below today's video. And the cool thing about this is that within the 4.5, you can search and you can also do deep research. So that means you can search the live web and you can also do deep research with it. So that means it should enhance your capability of researching and writing with ChatGPT. But for this example, we're just going to keep it off and we're going to, again, just enter our prompts. The first prompt was telling the AI to write in a more human like manner. And now the second prompt is going to tell it to write in an SEO optimized way. So we're going to get low AI and we're going to get SEO optimized content, which should give us really, really good outputs. So that's pretty quick. It said yes and yes. So I'm going to follow the traditional method that I used to use, which is generating the outline. And then we're going to generate the full article. So first I'm going to enter in the topic here. So we're going to write about how to start and grow an AI SaaS in 2025. Da, da, da. So that should generate us an outline. And then from the outline, we can then use this prompt to generate the full article. So let's see how quickly it takes us to generate this content. So it opens it up in sort of the canvas mode. In terms of speed, it's not very, very fast like some of the other models, which is fine. I think it's a good speed. We'll just have to test the output quality once it's finished. At the end, we get an SEO checklist, which tells us where the target keywords were used, natural keywords, placement throughout sections, relevant internal and external links, optimized metadata, and scannable and user-friendly. Okay, great. Now I'm going to tell it to write the full article. I'm going to remove this section, which tells it to write individually. And let's see the full article in which we get back. Okay, so this is the full article in which we get back. Again, it's not very, very fast, but I think the AI really takes its time to write its content. So let's go ahead and copy this over. And I'm going to see if we have to convert this from markdown format or is it already converted? So we do have to convert it. Um, how to start and grow an AI SaaS. What is AI SaaS? We see OpenAI. Why is AI SaaS trending? Defining your product, building your AI SaaS product so on and so forth. In terms of word count, I think this is a little bit shorter than I would probably like an article to be. So I'm a little bit disappointed in the count. Let's see. So 815 words, that's not a lot by any means. I would probably prefer something a little bit longer than that. Um, what we could do is we could probably then expand it, keeping the same style and tone, expand to 2000 words. So maybe I didn't include an actual um, word count, so it didn't follow any. So maybe if we did so, we would be able to get a much longer output. Um, but for the first initial output, I didn't really like that it was that short. But let's go ahead and test this on New and Writer. So I've already loaded up New and Writer. I'm gonna paste this in here. Let's copy over the markdown formatted content. We get a 61, which is actually pretty high. Um, and I think that's what this tool does. It writes really, really specifically. It takes its time to write. Um, it may not write the most, but at least it's going to be very targeted and, and very relevant to what it's writing about. It's going to follow those instructions. So we do get a 61, which is fairly high for out of the box from um, from just getting the content from ChatGPT and putting it onto New End Writer. So let's go ahead and see the expanded content here. It should be writing. So we can see that it's actually not writing over the full content. It's going through it and it's expanding the content. So I like this um, because it's not wasting time to essentially write a full new article. We're just getting a much longer article than the first you know, content that we So now let's go ahead and copy this over. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna convert it into Markdown. We're going to head over to New and Writer. Remember, we had a 61. Now, let's see what we got with some more content here. 62 um, for words. We didn't really get that much difference in word count. So again, I'm a little bit disappointed in the word count that we're getting back. But I think the actual content itself is a lot better. So what I could probably do is I could improve this prompt so that we can get much longer content. So maybe telling it to write longer aim for X amount of words. But overall, I would say I'm not very, very impressed by this model. I would prefer to use 01 or, or 
I would prefer to use O1 or I would prefer to use O1 or O3. I find that we're getting comparable content using uh, those models. Before we continue today's video, I do want to let you guys know that I have launched some lifetime deals for my image rocket tool, which allows you to create the most realistic AI images with text. So right now there's only 100 licenses available. There's 82 licenses available um, as of now, because again, it's only limited to 100 people. So if you wanted to upgrade and you wanted to get a lifetime deal, I definitely recommend checking it out. It is a really, really good pricing for a really awesome tool. As you can see here, these are some images in which I was able to generate and they are very, very good. They look real. The text is beautiful. You don't have to use Canva. You don't have to take time to actually add beautiful text onto your images. You just tell it what you want and it creates beautiful images for you. Again, with text, this is great for blog posts. This is great for Pinterest. This is great for YouTube, whatever you like. If you wanna check out the tool for yourselves, I will leave a link below. And again, there's only a hundred licenses available for lifetime deals. So if you wanna grab it, claim one, claim it with the link in the description below today's video.